Hey, what's up, Rust players? It's Protox, and I'm here to talk about binds. So what exactly is a bind? Well, a bind allows you to assign a key or a button to a command. And the way you do it in the game is you press F1, you type out bind, space, key, space, and then the command. Then you press enter and escape to exit the console again. So let's look at the more popular ones up here. Bind, in my case, I use Z attack will automatically attack until you cancel the attack and the way you cancel the attack is by pressing your default attack button which is usually mouse one uh, then we have forward semicolon sprint uh, this will allow you to auto run until you cancel the auto run by pressing usually w which is your forward key also we have uh, duck which is basically crouch and you will stay crouched I also use uh, kill, bind page down kill. When, when I press page down, I will automatically die inside the game. Similarly, if I want to disconnect from a server, you can bind the key to disconnect. I use delete. The, one of the more useful ones is uh, console toggle combat log. And I always see YouTubers typing out combat log. Well, there's an easier way. If you bind the key to both of these commands, console toggle, semicolon combat log it will toggle uh, the combat log and it will, you will be able to see it right away and then to exit you'll press escape incredibly useful I'll show it in a video uh, later on and uh, there's a couple other ones that I find incredibly useful I haven't seen anybody use these either so I'm not sure if I'm the only one probably not but uh, it's basically to set and reset your field of view and what it allows you to do using two buttons is to create a fake zoom so uh, my default field of view is 90 and T will reset it to 90 and Y will set it to 60 which will zoom in so you just using these two keys and I'll show it in a minute uh, you can zoom in and zoom out and it works fairly well a couple of fun ones are gestures there's more than these but basically they allow your character to do a certain action uh, this one for example is chicken bind k gesture chicken will if i press k it'll do like a chicken dance uh there's a couple of settings that are somewhat useful physics step 60 uh this will allow you typically to jump a little bit higher i believe uh gc buffer is a command to set your garbage collection uh, i believe the default is 256 but if you have the vram on your video card uh, you can increase it so you may get less stutters because usually the stutters occur when your garbage collection is full and it resets. Perf1 uh, shows you FPS and other information. I use Perf4. It shows you like ping and stuff like that. And then uh, there's a command called write CFG. You can save everything, but it, I think it does it automatically when you close. All right, so to bind the key, like I said before, as you press F1, it will toggle the console. And then you can type in your command. So let's try the most simple one, bind Z attack. So if I press Z, it will continue to attack. Uh, this is incredibly useful. Let me just put the volume down. But this is incredibly useful when farming and when breaking down stuff because you can just continuously attack. And then if you need to, once your tool is broken, you can just press uh, the number key for that tool in your utility belt. This is more useful for soft walling uh, stone walls. So this is the zoom in that I was talking about. As you can see, my T is bound to reset to field of view 90. And my Y is bound to fov60 graphics.fov60 and also as you can as you can tell you can check the bind of a key by just typing bind and then whatever key and uh, so yeah that's pretty much it as you can see it, it's really helpful especially when you're firing guns and stuff And then, uh, as I mentioned earlier, combat log, toggling combat log. So I'm just going to press home right now. And it's going to show me. And then I press escape to exit. So it's much faster than, you know, pressing F1 and then typing combat log each time. 
so yeah that's pretty much it oh yeah one more thing if you want to close rust incredibly fast even though they fixed it and it works much faster now than it used to be but or if your rust has uh stopped working and it's messing up your screen or something like that you can use uh this command and you can put it inside a batch file and then when you activate it or open the batch file it will immediately close rust so what you do is for example in notepad is you open a new document put this command in a single line and then file save as wherever the location is make sure to name it whatever you want but it has to be dot bat and file type or save as type all files I already have it saved but I'll save it again and then you can also make a shortcut of this and then when you click it it will close down rust immediately there you go thanks for watching